Okay, so let's try another example. Let's solve the IVP. Y prime minus 2xy is equal to 2x subject to y of 0 is equal to 2. Okay, um, we'll see later that there's another way that we can solve this, and I'll actually solve this same one using another technique. But for now, let's stick with the uh, separable technique. Um, and again, in order for us to uh, determine whether or not this thing is separable, I should be able to write y prime as a function in x times another function in y. So let me transpose the minus 2xy. If I bring it to the other side, I'll get 2x plus 2xy. It should be clear that I should be able to factor out a 2x leaving a 1 plus y. So it should be clear here that I have some function in x times some other function in y, if you will. So I write y prime as dy dx equals 2x times 1 plus y. And now I'm ready to separate everything. So I'll multiply both sides by dx. And then I'll divide both sides by 1 plus y. So I get dy over 1 plus y equals 2x dx. So I have all my x's on one side, my y's on the other. I'm ready to integrate. And if I integrate the left-hand side, I get the natural log of the magnitude of 1 plus y is equal to the integral of x is just x squared over 2, and the 2 over 2 will give me 1, so I'll just get x squared plus some arbitrary constant c. Okay, I can choose to solve for y from uh, this point and try to get an explicit form of y in terms of x. Uh, but at this point, I usually like to apply my initial conditions. So I guess over here on the side, I'll put apply y of 0 is equal to 2. And so if I plug in x equals 0 and y equals 2, I'll get the natural log of 1 plus 2 is equal to 0 squared plus c, which is just c. Okay. So it says that c is equal to the natural log. And 1 plus 2 is just 3, and 3 is always positive, so I can drop the uh, absolute value bars and I get that C is the natural log of 3. So knowing that C is the natural log of 3 I can go ahead and rewrite this as the natural log of the magnitude of 1 plus y is equal to x squared plus the natural log of 3. Now these absolute value bars on the 1 plus y um, how do I know when I can get rid of them? Well, I'll always look to my initial condition. And so this is my initial x value. And here the 2 is my initial y value. So since the y is positive at 2, I'll have a 1 plus 2. And I know that this argument is going to be near 3. And therefore, my argument here on the natural log is going to be positive. So um, the 1 plus y should, in, in the region around, uh, you know, y equals 2, should remain positive. Okay, so I'll write the natural log of 1 plus y. And let me go ahead and transpose the natural log of 3 now. Is equal to x squared. I just wanted to do that because I know I can always use, like, the natural log of a minus the natural log of b equals the natural log of the ratio of a to b. Okay, So I want to write this as the natural log of 1 plus y over 3 is equal to x squared. And to get rid of the natural log symbol, I'm going to exponentiate on both sides. Now I'll get 1 plus y over 3 is equal to e to the x squared. And it should be easy to see from here that if I multiply both sides by 3 and subtract 1, I'll get y of x equals 3e to the x squared minus 1.